All right, all right. Good evening and welcome. We're here Thursday night game show edition uh, with the Craig Mastery Trust. Good evening, John. How are you? I'm good, Tim. Thanks for having me. Uh, everyone, welcome to the show. We go live uh, on Mondays at noon and at Thursdays at 7 p.m. And we're all about hacking the money system and figuring out how can we get free money and free services and you know, it's supposed to be a free country, so where's all the free stuff? That's what we focus on because, what, that's practical. Um, and also getting out of expenses that we don't want to have to pay, like taxes and so on. Completely legal. Everything's legal. It's uh, information that you haven't been told about, but I'm an accountant. Got an MBA, master's in accounting, and I've been doing this nonstop, figuring out all the little loopholes that can help everyone since uh 07 when they foreclosed on me this is all i focus on this is all i do so it's great to have you here any questions hooray uh and tim's got a link that you can hit and then you could come in here and have a chat with us hey you know this is my experience hey i have a question for you whatever's on your mind it's great when people want to jump in and talk we'd love to have you it doesn't matter who you are uh be great to talk uh, anything comes to mind, jump on the link and Tim will let you in. Okay. That's uh, the link. Link is there. Hey, I'm I'm excited for the holiday on Monday. Right. We are gonna turn this into a holiday. Yeah. It's so it should be, be it's the, gonna be a real a real uh good show on Monday. I'm excited for the noon show on Monday. We should have a real party um where people show up and and say how much they saved because I saved a ton of money. I'm not paying taxes on Monday. And everybody else is, so it's a real holiday for me. <laughs> it's a real holiday that pays you money, I know. And, and for that, that's why we're putting up all these courses on uh, Monday. And actually, we're going to have a big sale on Monday, too. We're going to get everybody in. Uh, it's Ali. All right. Ali in the house. Uh, um, we do have a question starting out already. Kyle Love. Uh, when receiving an inheritance check uh, from a dead relative's estate... How does one prevent the state from canceling medical benefits and supplemental income? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I don't think there's necessarily a connection between those two financial systems. Now, you, Kyle, good question. I'm going to assume or let you know that trust basically solves every, every financial problem you're ever going to bring up, basically. Everyone needs a trust. And so if you were to get a check, for example, or something, uh, dead relatives estate, uh, this example, you could take the check, endorse it, put it in a trust, and then uh, no financial tr uh, transactions would have actually happened, you know, in any in the financial system on your end, uh, as far as receiving money uh, into any account with, you know, that was under the person, because that's what we're talking about. You know, uh, you have, what's the hack with it? What, what are we doing? Uh, your, your straw man that, you know, uh, your name and the nine digit number is actually a corporation. It's not you, the person, the personal account, all that stuff. So there's a corporation in your name. You don't use it anymore. You follow? And then uh, you use a trust instead. And so that person, it has uh, nothing. If you could bring that back up, I'd, I'm just sorry. I'm yeah. going to circle back around I, to it. I pulled it down because Kyle's actually entering the show. So let me uh, oh. bring him up and maybe this he'll ask it. Awesome. Kyle, are you there? He's listening to us. Kyle, Kyle. Uh, he's probably working on his uh, mic. Well, let's give him a second. Here he goes. He's getting to the mic. I'll turn off my uh, Bluetooth speaker here. He, he, he can't be on the show and watching the show at the same time. Uh, Kyle, maybe, maybe try to. Oh, there he is. I don't think there's necessarily a connection. No, that's the that's like the sound. Financial system. 
Now, you, I think he's just uh, trying to watch question. it twice, but let's I'm just get to answering the question. Now. That trust basically solves every, every financial problem. Okay, okay. Right now, Maybe uh, we'll bring up Kyle's question again, and I'll, yep. I'll go back to answer it. <laughs> All right, Kyle, uh, you're having some technical difficulties, or maybe we are on our end. My apologies if it's us. So what I was saying about this inheritance check, I'm going to go back to talking about that and if something comes up, it's cool. My, mm -hmm. Our apology for the technical thing, Kyle. It was great you were willing to be in here. I appreciate that. Uh, so you take get, a money from, get money from an estate, and then it would, you, you would endorse it and put it right into a trust that you're trustee of, you see? And then uh, since, and this is the hack is, okay, you have the person, you give it nothing. It doesn't have a bank account, doesn't have any assets, anything like that. So... Once the money goes directly to the trust and your person doesn't have assets or revenue stream or have anything, uh, what if someone was going to collect, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, the state, how does one prevent the state? So I um, guess we're talking about uh, the state. How, how are they going to get the information? Do you follow what I'm saying? Like uh, if, if, uh, if you just endorse the check and put it in your checking account, I don't see how medical benefits and supplemental income would receive the information about that check unless it's coming through some system I'm unaware of. You know what I'm saying? Like an estate, like that would usually be, oh, hey, this lawyer's going to fill out, you know, something as, uh, or someone, I don't know. You get a check maybe and you can endorse it and put it, straight away into your trust uh does that come with the 1099 and do you have to report it and stuff like that are you forced to uh write out a 1099 before you get it do you follow me uh yeah, sometimes i don't know about inheritance i wish i knew everything about inheritance because i always received received inheritance checks you know like every day but that's not my life uh but it would be wonderful but I, you know so i can't be really speaking from experience for that but you know, I would say that, uh, it, you know, unless there's a 1099, if they say, hey, we well, you need to sign this 1099, well, then you would put your trust information in there, and then uh, that would prevent the state from doing it. And then the action of actually put it, oh, I took this money, I put it right in the trust, you know, and that should prevent them from being able to get anything because you don't have the assets, no revenue stream, nothing to get basically, nothing in the name of the person. So, and because like the state can look at any bank account anytime they want and see all the money there is and anything like that, if they wanted to, um, they could look. But here's the thing I've never seen medical benefits or supplemental income or anything like that uh, be out there looking for bank accounts actively you know what i'm saying like during the process it's kind of like telling yourself uh so if you're not telling on yourself and there's nothing for them to look at i i think there's no problem there there's he Kyle. is we see you <laughs> hey guys can you hear me yes totally all right um so the question i'm asking um is on behalf of my sister we are receiving um I guess it would be called an inheritance check within the next week or so. And I just learned today that she's uh, she's got some medical issues or whatever. So she's on some sort of supplemental income. She has been informed that whether she wishes to receive the inheritance or not, because it's on a, what it would say, a public forum, such as it's in court records, the simple fact that she is, there's a public record that she's going to be receiving an inheritance check. If she denies the check, she will lose benefits. If she receives the check, she will lose the benefits because it's over, I think, the $2,000 monthly income. So, does one open a trust, put the, we'll call it $40,000 check just for a fun round number, put a $40,000 check into the irrevocable private trust immediately, or does one cash it into their, uh, you know, current bank account because she doesn't have a trust yet and then open up a nonprofit business and then pay the nonprofit business to take care of her medically to, um, for lack of a better term, dissolve the entire check so that there's no record of the money. 
<clears throat> well, I hope the I'm making sense because I'm brand new to this. No, 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 no. You, you're trying to find a way around the struggle she might find herself in. I get it. I get it. Absolutely. So, uh, uh, you know, the thing to do is have a trust period for any assets that you have so they can't get taken by the state because they're not yours. You're just trustee. And so she would want to have a trust. She would want to drop the track check immediately into the trust. It doesn't want to go through another account because any other account would be a taxable entity. Oh, you took the money okay. into there. You owe us taxes. And she doesn't really want to have a bank account of any other kind uh, for the person or uh, in any way, shape, or form because uh, the benefits that she's getting, she's concerned about, oh, what if this happens? What if that happens? This is just one issue of, of several that could come up. So she doesn't want to hold anything in her person's name. There are limits to what she can have and all that. She wants to get away from that and just yeah. use a trust. It doesn't matter how much is in there. There's a disconnect. It's a trust. It's not hers. She's just trustee. So none of that would ever come up against her benefits if it's in the trust. So that's a long-term solution for this problem and every single other problem that could come this way. Okay? So... And she uh, eventually, hey, my debit card works. The trust is cool. I got two banks. I got two debit cards. Everything is good. She would close her personal stuff. And then where she receives her benefits, she put in a new account number, routing number into that, you know, where she gets her benefit from. And they would dump directly into the trust. That's her trust. Okay. So, but nothing would be in her person's name. No car, no nothing. Everything goes into the name of a trust. Nothing, she would owe nothing, have nothing. And so that would screen her from ever getting anything in her name that could ever bump up against any limit that would say, oh, now you you have uh, too much car, you have too much cash, you have too much this. That means you don't get your benefits. So it's always put everything directly into the trust. It's not hers. doesn't matter if it's, you know, her first and last name trust. It doesn't matter. It's a different entity. And, you know, she's not taking anything through her person. That's a, that's a trick. Take nothing through there. So now getting into this one, practically this particular one, this is a maybe a problem. You see what I'm saying? Maybe. It's not necessarily a problem. If you, if you get a check, if she gets a check, that's probably what's going to happen. She's going to get a check. One of two things is going to happen at that moment. They're, they're either going to just simply give her the check. That's all. Here's your check. Uh, oh, okay, thanks. She's probably going to have to sign something. You know, hey, I got the check and I'm okay with it. You know, something, you know, she's getting it from someone. And they might, I don't know, but they might get her to say, oh, uh, you have to fill out this 1099 to get the check. They might, I don't know. Uh, and if they did, she would write in the name of the trust in the 1099 and it goes straight to the trust. And that's all the tax records there are. Nothing to her. You see, okay. so uh, and so then that's how I'd handle it. Either she signs whatever if she needs to, she would write the trust statement at ten nine and nine. She's all prepared for that, and then uh, you know I would say wait, like uh, you know, uh, because you say oh, put it into a nonprofit and stuff like that. Well, putting it into a trust is better because it's no non-profit rules or anything is already is a non-profit as people think of it as a 501c3 organization she can say hey i gave it to a 501c3 organization i don't have anything that says she can still say that from putting it into a trust because it has 501c3 status okay immediately when you get the ein you don't apply for it so this trust has that solution that you're asking about inherently in it too so it's but uh, I would wait and see, you know, because when I interact with the state, uh, any benefits or stuff, it's sort of a system of tell on yourself. I've never seen right. them come back to me like, hey, you have this. What are you talking about? No, no. Just write all blanks as zero. And uh, if they find something which they never look for, unless you write something to go look for, you know, if you write down, I have nothing and it's all empty boxes uh, all the time, all your benefits, and everything. You know, there's nothing for them to check. So it's mainly a system of tell on yourself. And people don't realize that everybody's saying, oh, the government is out there looking for all this information. They're never, they're lazy. They're waiting for us to fill out a form and be like, hey. So I would sit and wait on that and see if there's actually going to be a problem and handle it then. 
and the trust will have already done what she asked about the nonprofit thing, and it'll have some other things too. You know, in fact, it's not taxable. It's not her. You know, it's not under her person. Nothing is under her person. Yeah. You know, she fits all. She checks all the boxes. So that's what I would do, and I would think her benefits are probably going to be fine because they don't look at anything unless you. Hey, I might be getting. Uh, don't worry. Don't worry that down. <laughs> Just don't write it down. That's all. So I think I think it should be okay if she gets a trust and dumps a check in there, and you know she's the only trustee is fine, and it should work out. Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things I told her is um, I'm, I'm receiving a uh, inheritance check myself, and as soon as I do, first large expense I'm buying is your program. And I said, yeah. <laughs> basically, a check says there's approximately 90 days that you can cash a check before it's void, right? I said, that means you have three months to sit on that money until I learn how to get your money right. I said, I'm buying a program with my inheritance check. I will learn how to open up a private common law irrevocable trust to make us protected from everything. And then in that case, I'll teach you how to do this and you can protect your money as well. Well, so I'm trying to here, learn here. from you. No, I, I appreciate that, man. And let me let me give you another option just in case. Maybe since you could check when you do checkout to get the courses, you could you could do pay in payments. You could do like one payment. And then when you get the check, you could pay it off, but you'd already have the information. I think they might give it to you before you do your full payoff. In which case, you know, you could open your trust ahead of the, getting the check. So it's just, you know, something to think about. Uh, but what you're saying is, if I got you right, you're going to put it into, you don't have her concern. So you're going to cash your check, get her program, learn about it, then open her trust. Then she cashes the check and put it into it. Is that what I heard you now? I think finally. Yes, because I'm not smart enough to do it yet. And I'm going to get your information. Okay. And I've got okay. three months to learn how to do it before she loses yeah. her benefits. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this won't take that long. This won't take that long. Three months is a is a is a, you know so much more time than you need because the documents are all filled out. You just need your name, name of your trust, your address uh, to open up the trust per se. That part is pretty straightforward to to get to happen. And so you can get her into a trust and not that long. You're like, oh, my debit card worked. Everything's cool. Here's how you do it. You know, there's plenty of time for all that. Hey, and John, a quick question. If you're allowed to answer this for your own privacy, I'm in Independence, Missouri, and I noticed you got an 816 number. Are you just too far from me? Could we have a face-to-face -face meetup, or is that even an option? That's not me. Uh, that's that, no, that, 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 that sounds great, but that's, I'm not in Missouri. I'm in Florida. Okay. Um, okay. But, but uh, our friend, my friend line helped Tammy. She's in Missouri. I don't know where, honestly, but she's a professional online. Uh, you know, I'm one of her clients. Uh, we've got we've got mutual counter. friends on Facebook, but I don't think it'd be appropriate for me to just hit her on Facebook. I don't know if that's appropriate or not. Uh, she's super shy. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying she's super shy. So I don't think there's anything wrong with saying hey and stuff like that. And, and but I'm just letting you know it's not going to be you per se. She's just incredibly shy. So yeah. that she did a testimonial recently. It's been she's been with us five years and has done so 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 much. And I was like, she's like, I did the testimony. I was like, you did, you know, because she just is really super shy. So it's, I it, watched I was like, it, and, and it was just refreshing to hear her hear it come out of her mouth. It was refreshing. Totally, she's so wonderful. Uh, uh, Tammy's the best. So I, yeah. you know. Who knows? Maybe you get a chance to say hi to her. I would. I've never met her, so hey, if you get to, well, good for you. You know, I, I love Tammy. Uh, she, yeah. she's, she's got good, good energy. Well, thank you very, she's, very much. I appreciate you. All right, Kyle. Look forward to working with you, man. Have a good evening. Absolutely, we'll we'll be working together very soon. Thank you. Oh, I look forward to it. All right. All right. Good that stuff. was fantastic. What? That was great to hear from Kyle, man. He's he's watched my videos. <laughs> I yes. love it. I love it. He's ready, he's rare to go. And his sister. He's looking out for his family too. What a great guy. He sounds like a great catch, this guy. He sounds like super from the heart and super honest, cares about his family and his loved ones. I mean, I, if I were someone, I'd be like, hey, who 
well, you, I'm in Missouri too. You know, let me hit. What's this? Hit? <laughs> be hitting him up. So uh, that would be great. I'm sure. You know, maybe Tammy becomes a friend at least. You know, that'd be good. That would be good. That would be good. At least they'll get some some good help. But yeah, I'm <clears throat> I'm glad you you brought up the uh, the payment plan. So if you add hit the add to cart button, you should come up with. Uh, I don't know why it's not coming up for me. But it comes to the checkout page, and then you can choose uh, a payment option. And it's funny, but yeah. It's not. It's not going for me. Let's try and refresh that there. And it's, I guess it was loading. But yeah, you can say you can see it's uh, twenty four ninety five. And if I add that to the cart, oh, here is is with the. Um, let me get rid of that. From one twenty one a month, through through that uh, shop pay. We could see that yeah. there, one twenty one a month. That's so it. if he if he could scrape up one twenty one, and then he'd be in the course. And I I can testify also that you know if he works real hard, uh, he can do this in in a single day, um, and then open up that trust. And then by the time he makes that, before he has to make the next one twenty one payment, he can cash his check into the trust he's created. So yeah. that's a fantastic option there. I'm I'm not sure. I think you could get the information ahead of time and make one payment. Don't I don't know. I haven't done it. I'm just I I think that's what it means. Okay, so no, you uh, you, check. you get right in um, with every other thing that I've ever bought on on payment plans. You you get the product right away. Um, Fantastic. I, I don't you go, know Brian. if you have a locking Fantastic. option, but everything else I've made payments on, you get the product. Yeah, but. Then, finish that off that have a bunch of people have gotten it and and so when they check out i hear from the suits so that makes sense a bunch of people i could tell when they make their purchase you know use that option i'd go through with it and get all the information and, it's, and they're good to yeah. go so uh well i'm glad you pulled up this page too because we have some new courses going up here april 15th and so you can get that list of courses right there and there's actually going to be five more courses that are going to be going up. And see, what happens is you can get the trust for $19.97 or for $24.97, you can get the trust on every single course that's up on the entire school. You get it all. So it's basically, yeah, you can get the trust, uh, but you really want all the information of the other courses because the hell tells you how to do everything, you know, with the trust, with the person, this is the way you do everything. You need all that other information. So, but I'm adding five other courses on, on tax free day, April 15th, tax free day, go celebrate tax free day. We're going to help you celebrate five new courses are going to go up. Uh, uh, they are going to be, uh, there's a one called the foreclosure success is going up. That's work for everyone that, uh, it blocks the seizure by foreclosure. Uh, that's going to be going up. The inner circle is going to be going back up. It is, it hasn't been available, uh, for a long time. That's going to be available as a course. And so that's going back up. Uh, the debt forgiveness course is going to go back up on Liberty Aid Academy. That's right. Uh, and also for those courses, they were on Jesus Christ Trust on net. We'll make sure anyone that got that information over there is back in the courses at Liberty Aid Academy because uh, we pulled them down to move them over here to mainstream them because that's sort of like the skunk works technology check everything over there to make sure everything works situation and then we bring them over here to the school uh also uh what else do we what else do we have uh uh oh no detainment no jail hey all right there's uh there's jay checking in <laughs> game show is fun great comments people thank you for coming so we're gonna have these new courses uh oh we got the uh, best candy i think it is hello i've been interested in doing a trust so i worked with someone who's going to mentor me and he opened the trust for me instead i found out it was a scam should i close that trust he opened yes for sure yeah. look you don't want anyone else on your trust okay just you 
And this is a trust I recommend everyone open first, okay? First name, last name, trust. Whatever your first name is on the driver's license, first name, last name, trust. And then you get a debit card. You're the only one on it. Hey, this thing works. Everything's great, you see? Uh, and then once, once you have that, you can do everything with it. You could use another trust for other things, but... You know, it's not a scam over here. I don't want to be on anybody's trust. Uh, no one else is on a trust. You get the information. We teach you how to open it yourself. You you have that information. You can open another trust. Oh, he's not on your trust. He just put me on it. Yeah, see, then, then uh, you know, I don't know. Without, without I don't know looking anything. at it, you can't really comment on that. Yeah. No, 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 not without looking at it. It's not even looking at it. Uh, it's it's about the outcomes. You see what I'm saying? And since I come out with the trust we here have here at Liberty Academy since 2016, zero issues for anyone. Zero. Zero. Uh, gets everyone out of taxes, does everything I say. Zero problems. Zero problems. And we got proof, testimonial after testimonial after testimonial. I know this trust where I did it myself first. And then so many people have done it since. So it's like, I I don't, you know, I can't. I can say, tells me everyone else's trust doesn't work. This trust does work. So you have to use this trust. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep that trust open. Yeah, he said, that's why I was confused. I went to my government.org and it allowed an EIN. Yeah, that's fine. You can get an EIN for a trust, but that doesn't mean it's going to have 501c3 status and, and you're not going to report to the IRS so you're never going to pay taxes. All trusts are different. Uh, all trusts are written in different ways. All trusts, uh, there's there's so many different kind of possibilities for a trust set, you see. And no one has actually, before I did this, no one was actually doing this ever for anyone. You see, they're doing it for like a church or something like that. I moved it over so any people or businesses can do it. And so I had to make that work. And that's why I copyrighted it because no one had done it before. So that someone else had ever done it, I don't, I, where's the trust? Where's the testimonials? You know, get it for someone that will mentor you. That's what I'm doing here twice a week. And got a classroom here online. It's an actual school. Actually get a mentor with the videos and, you know, over a decade of proof I can be trusted or else what's a piece of paper worth? You see what I'm saying? Unless you have some help or how to use it, you see? So I didn't see the second part of that question. I'm sorry. Yeah. Let me get back to it. Um, yeah, it just said, um, I want to keep the trust, but okay, I'll just have to open another one myself to make sure. Well, I mean, look, look, knowledge is power, right? My grandfather used to tell me, he's like, uh, knowledge isn't heavy, <laughs> you know, because all the other kind of work you do, the stuff you carry around because you don't have the knowledge up in your brain is heavy, you see? So, uh you know, you want to have the knowledge yourself. I don't, I'm, I'm not here as your expert and without me, you can't do anything. Yes, at a school I am. But if you're in the school, you learn everything. You don't need me anymore. You see, that's my goal with everyone. You receive the information. You can come out here, talk and, you know, ask questions and ask in a classroom and all this stuff and go as far as you want. And I'll be here and I've been here. But after a while, I don't hear that much from people because it's just, you know, they get it. They're off they doing it. it. They're living their life, you know. People already know how to open up a checking account. So it's like, okay, this is how you open a trust checking account. You know, most of the stuff that I'm teaching you have already knowledge. Like, oh, this is how you use a debit card. You already know how to do that. So most of the stuff that I teach is, you know, it goes in sync with what you already know. I'm not teaching you anything like, hey, here's some super special. No, you go to a bank, you get a debit card. You see, th these things... Uh, that you do uh, teach you once you learn them you keep it the knowledge is power so it really you were intelligent for looking for a mentor and stuff but here's the yardstick you know that i always hold up for people yeah. proof up or shut up where's your proof that you've been helping people for a long time go look at all my testimonials go look at all the back videos and stuff i've been helping people for over a decade so uh and everyone's successful. That was, you know, not successful. So, you know. I think uh, uh, Kyle hit the button to join us again. I don't know if he wants to come on and ask another question, but 
Kyle, if you're here, just uh, pop up, unmute, or say hello. While I, while uh, while we wait for him, I can say that she, uh, uh, the best candy did say. So I do, I don't have uh, any inheritance or money, but I started another job, so hopefully I can save up and make use of the trust. Yes, well, that would be good. Yeah, oh yeah. Let's get into the game show thing here for the uh, the this candy lady. Uh, let's get into the game show. Teach a man to fish. <laughs> this is C Lee. Yes, that's it. And Jack is starting to see real profit in the game show. Just starting to use my EBT, then my housing vouchers next. The business credit and special going after my debt, and then the special going after my debtors. Thank you from Ali. Very nice. I bet where you are and look at you rising up, man. I'm really happy for you. Congratulations and may God help you. Uh, really like help you. Uh, so that's fantastic, Ellie. Uh, let me go through a couple more things with these courses and so on. And and then we'll, uh, uh, I, I, I want to get I got into one it. more. I got one more okay. here. Uh, mortgage question. I tried to pay off my mortgage with a negotiable instrument that has been ignored completely. I have a trust. The home is scheduled A. What do I need to do to gain ownership? <laughs> you don't have a trust for me. You don't have a trust for me. Or I would have, you know, I would have already, you know, explained these facts of life to you. <laughs> you just say, I just was explaining it to the last woman that was on here, the nice candy lady. Uh, but see, the the yardstick that we use is proof up or shut up. So you know, you have proof that something works and then it works. You see those same that uh, alley proof over and over again. Any of that negotiable instrument, instrument nonsense is a fake. You see what I'm saying? There has to be proof after proof. My my question to those people, right? Oh, you know, you can pay off uh, mortgage with this and that and all these, you know, internet sovereignty like hoaxes. It's like, oh, that's awesome. Could you just, I'm sure people ask you all this all the time. So can you please list the 1,000 houses that you have by address so I can look them up and see that you own them? Because you must have like 1,000 houses. If all you have to do is write a piece of paper, you own a house. Well, you must have like 1,000 of them, right? So what are the addresses, you know? So uh, just shoot me the address list. You know, it's like they don't even have one house. What are you talking about? You see, that's a whole fake thing. That's why they didn't go for it. A negotiable instrument is a hoax thing. So, and uh, Schedule A is another, you know, it's just, uh, I'm glad, this is another question. These are fake things. So let's get into the real stuff here. Game show time, ding, ding, ding. Let's just get into game show here for a second. I'll get into the courses at the end. Uh, so look, there are different ways to hack the financial system. You need a trust. I can't help you unless you get a trust. I just can't help you because you can take things from your person, like you could, and other business entities, like an LLC or trust or whatever. You could build up the credit for it, you know, massively, turn your credit cards into gold coins, buy, buy you know, US minted uh, gold coins from a reputable dealer or eBay. Get the coins to show up at your house, go down and take them to the coin dealer, turn them into cash, take the cash, put it into your bank account of your trust. You see, I had a person ask me a good question. I said, well, what if I already have a business? I could just, you know, use all the credit cards through payment gateway straight into the trust. I'm like, yeah, but they're going to block you because I tried that. You know what I mean? Like, that would be so easy. But you know, they sh they can shut down your payment gateway from that. I probably will uh, because in your whatever you click to be with them, you know, had something in there about you not doing that, you know, because uh, the bankers are the ones that give payment gateways and they, they're they wise to this first level idea of ours. And so you may get away with uh, like uh, maybe a couple of payments for your payment gateway, but. You really, you won't get all much or any of the money out of it. And you'll create another problem. You'll create a problem with your payment gateway. So don't do that. Good question, though. It's a good question. And uh, I didn't know till I tried it myself. So, but don't go that way. Buy something that you can easily turn into cash immediately. 
for the same value without losing any value, basically. And that's a U.S. minted gold coin. They have different denominations, meaning different weights. Like they have an ounce, half ounce, quarter ounce, a tenth of an ounce. We're in America, U.S. minted coins. There's not fakes, you know, especially from someone that has like 500,000 sales on eBay. And all they do is sell gold coins like, okay, I got it for me a click, you know. So, and then you go down to a liquid coin dealer that give you cash or uh, a cashier's check, drop it right into your trust, and that's it. Uh, so, let's say this is a basic way to think of this. Like, you, everybody wants a home for free, reduce their costs, right? So, you could go get a mortgage, get a, get a piece of real estate, then... Trade in all your credit cards. Let's say you have credit cards value. I teach you how to do this. So Liberty Academy comes with the Keg Master Trust. You know, you're going to get all this credit, a lot of credit and all that stuff. Let's say you get $200,000 uh, in credit cards and so on like that, which you could definitely do. Uh, and then you turn them into gold coins, turn them into cash. Let's call it $180,000. let us say you can buy a house for $180,000, you know, mm-hmm. go you know, say, call it 200. And uh, let's say you had to put 20 down, something like that. And now there's 180,000 mortgage. You turn all that credit, you know, for your person, for your businesses. So into gold coins, into cash, put your trust, pay off your entire mortgage. You got a house that's, that's free, free and clear. What's the only thing that happened? Of course, it took a little bit of your time to do that, but you know, uh, but the only thing you have is messed up credit for seven years. Who cares? You live in a house, you got no mortgage. <laughs> well, it's a pretty good trade, you know? So, uh, or you could, if you want, hey, I want a house that's worth like three to 50000 Oh, okay. So you may have to, you know, pay off a huge chunk of your mortgage, have your credit come back around again, or do it husband and wife, you know, they can get twice as much. Uh you know, if you need a lot more house, but if it's just one of you, well, you know, you could probably have a house that's that much. Once your credit comes back around, get a whole bunch of cash, sell your house, upgrade your house then, you know, just buy another house for cash, you know, straight up. Uh, don't need a mortgage or nothing like that. You just, you know, take all that cash again out of the credit. This is completely legal with the worst case scenario being that your credit for your person, your personal credit is best up for seven years. That's the worst possible thing that can happen. Everything's in your trust name, so they can't get anything from you. That's mm-hmm. it. So really, that's a way, that's a real way, just logically, you see how I'm thinking about this? I got all the proof to testimonials, go look into it. Uh, even if you get a judgment against your person, they come, can't come against the trust. That's not, that's not your person, you see? Oh, nothing control everything. That's the way the elite beat mm-hmm. it, you see? It would be like saying, uh, hey, uh, I made a donation, you know, to a trust. Yeah, you could do that. You made a donation to PBS, you know. Let's say you had a tax issue two years from now. Uh, IRS can't go take your, uh, the money you gave to PBS two years ago, you know. It doesn't work like that. The system doesn't work like that. It ha- they can only get a judgment against your person, you see. The thing that is liable for all that. And your person doesn't have any asset, doesn't have a bank account, doesn't have anything. You see, everything goes in the name of a trust. You have nothing. And so that, that person is like a vacuum cleaner. You take all the credit, take all their money, all that stuff. And then you get all the free government services and everything in the meantime, right? Uh, payment every month, food stamps, free phone, free phone service, blah, blah, blah. The whole list, you know, all our, our, all our courses. That's it. That's what we, you know, one way to get a free house. Like you want a free house that actually works. And sure, your personal credit may be messed up for some amount of time. You work work with the, we have a, you know, going up April 15th is is our uh, uh, debt forgiveness course is going up. That's, a, that's where I started my work, you know, 12 years ago with Liberty Aid Academy. Uh, so that stuff can help clear your credit a lot faster. And then you're back in the game quicker and could do it again. You take more money. So uh, that's, you know, instead of this negotiable instrument and all this fake nonsense, do what's real, where you know it's going to have a real payoff. Uh, You get real cash, get real credit, you know, go get a mortgage and pay it off. Like, 
you could do these things. These are real. This is what you could do with a trust. And then you could get paid monthly from the government, uh, from like uh, uh, people could get SSI, SSG, EBT, all these other ways. Thank you, Infinite is asking, can a trust get EBT? Can trust get EBT if I'm legally working for the school system? Okay, let's let's unmix that question because I understand what you're asking, but let's uh, let's sort that out. And, and the answer is no, because first of all, a person gets an EBT, a trust doesn't get an EBT, a trust is not you. You see, uh, and they like to call the person you, <laughs> but people people are businesses; they run businesses. People are a person. People are a trust. We're, we're people. You see, and they would like oh that's you no that's not me that's a, that's a person so your person can e get ebt but if your person is already in a w2 for w uh, w2 w4 situation like and that's what i think you're talking about with the school system your w2 w4 that your person already gets money that way so unfortunately if you're going that route then you know, you you if you if you're working directly for the devil, the school system, right? You have to pay the devil like a piece of that. That's just the way it is. So uh, you want to get into a W nine situation, which whatever expertise you're doing with the school system, you could probably do elsewhere into a W nine situation where you get the trust paid directly itself. You know, like by a check or or. Uh, like uh, digitally through a payment gateway or something like find another situation. You know, uh, you're in a school system. Where that's, people come to this information wherever they are. And then over time, they do what they can, and then they look for another situation that works for using the trust. And ultimately, one comes along and it works, you know. You're a painter for the school. So there are other ways you can paint, you know. Uh, so you can, you can think about that how to do what you do using the trust itself uh, only. Or, it, you know, you could ask them, hey, could I be in a W-9 situation, you know? They could, then the trust could do it, then you could get EBT, you see, for your person and every other everything that you could get. So, but that's the kind of situation that you would have to have uh, to be able to do it. So just be looking for another situation that you'd be happy with or think of another situation, something like that. So, good question. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, that's a general game show stuff. Let me get back into the courses. Any, ask any question if you want. That's fine. Uh, but we'll be having these new courses come up uh, on April fifteenth, and uh, let's see. Oh, the other great news is if anyone has ever gotten either trust of the keg mastery trust in the past. I'm going to have a way for you to upgrade to all these new courses and everything. Like anyone's going to be able to get into this new stuff. Well, this is, this is how, these are your choices. Okay. Of how you could upgrade to getting all this new information. All right. One, if someone got only the trust in the past, in other words, they didn't get the bundle price and all the courses and all that. Let's say you just got the trust in the past, and that's all you got. Some people have done that. Uh, if you only got the trust, we're going to let you upgrade for $9.97 to all the courses, all the rest of the courses you get it, into them all. Huge discount. Because you supported us in the past, we want to support you now. So, And even cheaper if you want to do a testimonial. If someone does a testimonial, they can upgrade from any time you send us, uh, you know, contact at libertyandacademy.org, say, hey, I want to upgrade, you know. You send us an email, then you send us a receipt, and uh, then you send us, a, you know, hey, I want to do a testimonial. We'll send you some, a little, you know, a short email that says, hey, do a testimonial like this, you know, tell you how to do it. And then, uh, you send us that testimonial back, and the payment would only be six ninety seven to upgrade from a trust in the past to everything. Super reasonable. Um, why? Because you know you supported us in the past, so we want to get you into all the information. That's my goal. That you know everyone that comes to school gets all the information, and you know lives a much happier life. That's my goal. So that's a really affordable way, and also testimonials really help other people understand. There's no problem. So, you know, that's why I make an even bigger discount if you do a testimonial. 
now. If uh, someone in the past has got a Keg Mastery Trust uh, bundle with all the courses we got at Liberty Eight Academy, uh, their upgrade is going to be six ninety seven. That's all. And if they're willing to do a testimonial, like I was just explaining how to do it, just email us, say, contact at libertyandacademy.org. Hey, I want to do a testimonial. Hey, I want to upgrade. Okay, if you got a McKeg Mastery Trust, so you do a testimonial, it's only three ninety seven to upgrade. That's it. You know, because all the people that are out there, you know, that have done some of my work in the past and all that stuff, uh, I want everybody to be able to come up to speed with everything. There's some people... Uh, that have been around for many years, been very supportive for many years, but aren't into a lot of my new courses. So, uh, and especially with these like five new courses coming up, I really want, you know, to be really loyal and faithful to you and make it a super bargain to get in. Okay. So anytime after the 15th, these courses are going to be up. All right. So you could just choose at any time. Hey, write that email. I want to upgrade. So that doesn't have to happen on the 15th itself. That's just when the option becomes available. Come by on the 15th. So uh, and uh, one more announcement I'm going to announce today. Uh, uh, we were going to plan on announcing this in two days, but I'm going to announce it today because on uh, on Monday, today's Thursday, so Monday is tax day or tax-free day here. Uh, we're going to have not only all the new courses and all this ability to upgrade and stuff, but also going to have a sale that day. It's not going to be $24.97. It's going to be $19.97 for everything. New courses, new everything. But it's only for one 24-hour period, okay? So don't ask after. This is such a crazy great deal at $24.97. It's a joke. So, but I want everybody to come in. 1997, you come in, get all the information. Uh, I want you to upgrade everyone and you know, receive all this information and upgrade your life, okay? So that's the big announcement that I had uh, for tonight. I hope we're going to have a bunch of emails going out and, and we're, it's going to be going out on social media, all this information. Uh, but the 15th is going to be a big get out of taxes day all around the USA. I'm going to get everybody out of taxes this tax day. Anybody that wants out, you're out. The, you know, the money you're going to spend in the IRS, don't spend it. Because once you do what I'm talking about, how are they going to collect on any past taxes? What are you talking about? Right. Well, you don't have any assets. You don't have a bank account for your person. Why would you pay a past tax bill? Why? And why would they come after you for it? Why? It makes no sense. They would never do it. So don't spend tax money on the IRS. Spend it on these courses and then never give them a dime for the rest of your life. Come on, people. I'm making it really affordable. I'm making a big break on that day. Make a break from the system. Care about your family more than the government, okay? Please, people, come on in. Come on into the fold. Be happy, you know? Uh, so and you can really, anyone can do this. No one is like, hey, this didn't work. No, it works for everyone. This is really uh, something anyone's supposed to be able to do. It's in the tax code. The banks understand the wealthy elite have been doing this in every state of the union, you know, from the jump. And now it's our turn because we have the information too now. So that's all. Oh, uh, Kyle's in here. Oh, wow. I got a, I go, oh, I got my own private chat in here and, uh, Kyle's yeah. in here. That's so cool. Amazing. Taxes, taxes are for the ignorant. I like that Kyle. <laughs> uh, He's just listening now. Thanks, Kyle, for checking in. And thanks for those messages. That's really cool. I appreciate that. Uh, they, really, that was good. a good session that you came on and asked about that. That helps a lot of people understand. You know, one, one good question can really, uh, oh, that's how a trust works. I understand that. It can help a lot of people. So thank you for that. Uh, so uh, let's see. What else? Now, now, Kyle, before you run and jump and get it today, wait for Monday. And, and get it at the sale price. That's even better. That so, was uh, start and, and make the payment plan and and uh, get that going on Monday. And he's uh, you're guaranteed to be very very happy in thirty days time. And your sister, you can take yeah. care of her. 
No, it's serious. Thank you, Tim, for that. This is such a solution that, that uh, you know, it's just amazing that they've gotten away with it for so long and, and yeah. us not finding out about it. So, you know, because there's just a period of like, oh, man, you you got over on me a long time, you know. But uh, once you get this information, nobody's got any hidden information from you anymore. You know, you're going to have it all. And you're going to hack the system. You're not giving the government any more money after this. They're just going to be giving money to you, giving services to you. The whole dynamic's going to shift forever. And uh, they're never going to take any money, assets, nothing from you anymore. Uh, then it just becomes sort of like fun, you know? How do I get more of their stuff? You know, that's that's when it. That's why I came up with the name for game shows, like, how do I turn this into like a fun game where I just get prizes and money and stuff like that and the government gets nothing, you know, like that's the way we should be living our life. We're the citizens, right? Oh, the, yeah. what's the story of the country, right? We're the citizens and it's our free country. Where's all the free stuff? What are you talking about? Well, now we got the free stuff for you. I should call it the free game show. <laughs> the free show. <laughs> It's really great to, you know, finally, because, you know, I, I taught people how to get rid of debt and stuff like that for a number of years. But then the issue became, how do we keep everything safe? You know, that's what the trust is for. Yeah, this is C. Lee saying, time to make them serve us. I mean, that's what they're supposedly, that's what they have in mind. Oh, we're here to serve people. That's what they say all day long. Like, why did you go and steal everything? Like, yeah. did you come into this to be a service to people, right? Isn't that love your brothers and sisters? Didn't I hear that somewhere? Like, what are you people up to? You know? <clears throat> it shouldn't be like, the you know, get pulled over by the police and you're like, oh, crap. How's, how much money is this going to cost me? It'd be like, it should be like, Oh, why did he? Why did I get pulled over? You know, and he's like, "Oh man, I just baked the cake, and I saw you driving by, and here's half your cake." And by the way, look out! This road is closed up over there, and stuff like that. Just wanted to let you know. Have a great day. Uh, can I help you with anything? And you're like, "Man, thanks for stopping me. Uh, I did need some cake." Okay, see you. No, I'm good. See you later. Like that's they should be actually protecting us and serving us. You know, so that's their word. Like, oh hey, that, that's why they took the uh to protect and serve off the cop cars those are because they're just income revenue specialists <laughs> that's their real uh irs they're not they're not cops they're they're uh armed irs agents collecting, collecting with tickets yes yeah, so they collect everything i i unfortunately have had friends that you know driving across the usa with cash in their car and you know they got readers rfid readers along the road and so they just read that you got cash in the car. The police literally just pull you over, take your money and say it was for drugs. And then they, you never see it again. Never carry much cash in your car. See, they can't read uh, U.S. minted uh, gold coins. They don't have an RFID. They don't. And they're physically small. Gold coins are physically small. And a car is made out of metal, too. It's like, you know, not like they have a magnet reader. Well, you know, that's whatever. Like, it's metal, you know? Like, gold is a good way. Gold coins is a good way to transport assets. Not cash. Not cash. Don't do it. They'll steal it. Uh, Candy's back with asking, do I need to have assets or a certain amount of money for a trust before deciding joining your course? Like, I'm guessing I shouldn't leave a trust without much in it to start no you should have uh a trust it doesn't matter how much money is stuff so because it's a hack your person has nothing and then your person qualifies to get all the money government services and everything so the second you get it that's when you're you know use the hack you know not, i don't have anything anymore so you know you start with getting the ebt so that's like almost 300 dollars a month thirty six hundred dollars a year how much would thirty six hundred dollars a year, you know, being able that you can spend on food help over 10 years time, that's $36,000. So would that impact your finances at all? You know, how about having no phone bill whatsoever? You know, you never receive a phone bill. My phone never gets a phone bill, unlimited data, unlimited text, unlimited talk. I never receive a phone bill. It's impossible to get a phone bill. The government just pays the phone company every month, I guess. You know, it's in the it's from a government program. And so I never pay a phone bill ever. 
uh, service is great. And on and on and on. You see what I'm saying? It's really important to do this immediately so you have more money. That's why the wealthy elite have more money because they're spending less money all the time. They're not paying taxes. They're getting all the free government, everything they can get, which lowers your expenses. No taxes, no phone bill. All your expenses start to go down. And that's why I talk about this game show stuff. Once you get all these other expenses down, let's hit the big one. Let's hit a home run and make real estate free. You see what I'm saying? That how many, you know, your expenses keep chipping away to keep doing one of these processes until you're down to like nothing. That's really what you want to be, you know? Like, and so you learn this information and you start chipping away at it. You reduce your expenses immediately. Uh, excuse me. And then over time, you reduce certain ones, you know? Uh, so, yes, especially think- for people in that situation, the best candy. Especially, yeah. it's mostly for you. It's not for the wealthy elite like we've been told about trust. Sure, it works for them, but it really works hyper good for us. Because what do they care if they got $500 million? How about how's the EBT impact them? They don't care. But for regular people, $300 off your you know food bill every month, and I mean every single month, that's a huge impact, you know? And so on and so on. No phone bill. All this stuff starts to add up, you know? Uh, and then ultimately, if you want to go for the, you know, don't owe a mortgage and stay in a place and then, you know, get the real estate taxes accepted, then your their home is just taking care of it. What, you know, uh, making sure the thing works, air conditioner and, you know, keeping it uh, in fine physical shape and functioning. But there are no added expenses to that, you know, electricity and uh, maybe the trash, maybe, maybe water. Uh, I know certain areas you can get free electricity and people have done that with a trust. So this is really about, short-term, medium-term, and long-term solutions, all of this work for trust. No, it really it really matters, you know, uh, more significantly to people that have less to get the trust immediately because they need all these little things start to really add up for people just on a normal budget and normal situation. It's even much more important for them. Good question. Thank you for that question. That's Katie. I think I think also just to maybe uh, clarify a little bit on the second half of that, she says, like, I'm guessing I shouldn't uh, leave a trust without much in it to start. I think what she's trying to say is that, you know, if she only has a couple hundred bucks to start the trust, um, yeah, you, you know, you can you can start it with next to nothing. I know I walked in with a hundred bucks to start my trust before I got my real estate, you know, commission payout into the trust, but I started it. And, uh, and of course now it's, it's age. So the sooner you start it, the sooner it starts to age and then you can, you know, apply for credit through that or do, do things where it looks, it looks stronger because of its age as well. So, um, you know, start it as soon as you can because, and start it with, you know, a hundred bucks or whatever, whatever your bank lets you start an account with. Yeah. So do, I agree a hundred percent, Tim. Thanks for saying that. Absolutely. What he said is a hundred percent correct. And so the, the, the sooner you get into this information, the sooner you get all the free stuff and everything, the sooner you're lowering your expenses, the sooner you have the knowledge, you see? And so nobody's going to get over on you ever again financially. Every opportunity that comes your way, you'll see as an opportunity. Not, oh, I didn't know I could do that. You'll know everything, you see? You have to have the knowledge, the information we have here. Yeah, she's adding that. Uh, it's good to know. Thank you, guys. Uh, happy you do these lives because the information is so helpful and it gives me courage. Yes. That's why I'm here. That's, that's why I do these two lives a week because the stuff works completely. So, I mean, I do it for people's comfort. That's why I'm here. True that. And, and Kyle was, uh, said this in the other chat was, uh, I realized that everything is truly free. It's our ignorance that prevents us from obtaining all that is ours under God. Thank you, Kyle. What a great positive way to put it. And that's, you know, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So no, my best case, like get in and get the information. You see what I'm saying? Once you have the information, they can be like, oh, my trust is open. I want to do this first. I'm going to do that next. You see, you have all these listed courses that come along with it. You're like, oh man, you know what worked for me best? EBT, $300 a month. Took me a couple hours. Whoa. What's next? You see what's next? Each each individual's life is going to, you know, 
uh, slightly different. So you're going to choose a different thing to do next for you, you know, but you're going to cheat, chip it away at this. Uh, this thing's the next free thing. That's the next free thing. And like that, and they all add up. And eventually you're like, wow, my life has shifted completely, you know? Yep. Um, Cars No Cruel is back. Uh, Jack, I got a, a personal Amex card six months ago. Next, I want to get a chase for my person and an Amex card for the trust. Which one should I apply first? Chase. Definitely do chase first. Uh, first of all, Amex uh, doesn't hard pull after you're in the family. So that's not going to matter. That's not going to show up anywhere. But if you think you're in the ballpark to get a Chase personal card with your credit and so on, they're the number one credit place to go for trust, for everything. Get like a Freedom card, Freedom Flex, something like that for your person. Then you're in with them. And then the next thing you do with Chase, like I would do the Amex thing next, like you're saying. But then after that, eventually, you know, down the road, uh, Chase is going to give a uh, an eight card for a trust too. You see what I'm saying? So I would do. You've already got the Amex. Do Chase. Then it's not going to be a hard pull or nothing. I would do Amex after that. They don't have to take long in between them. You could do them yeah, anytime. Yeah, you know, tomorrow, whatever. Both of them. It's not going to. You know, don't stagger by time or nothing like that. I'd go in and try the Chase and then. Uh, do the Amex. Amex is going to give it to you. It doesn't matter if you had a hard pull with Chase, but uh, Chase is so sweet to get into. If you can get into them, start tomorrow. Seriously. They have yeah. the most credit. Thank you for that, Jay. Uh, cars are cool. Kudos, Kyle. Cheers. Yes. Uh, Mrs. C. Leak. Chase uh, classifies all trust accounts as business. Well, that may be at your uh, branch or location, but they have it for me. They come and go on, and it doesn't matter whether it's personal or business, doesn't matter. That's an inter internal bank designation. So it really doesn't matter if they call it personal or business. It, do it doesn't matter either way, but that's fine. That's fine. Thank you for that. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Usually it's just kind of a red flag if they say, hey, you want a uh, business account? You just say, uh, no, it's just personal, you know. But if they say, well, we just do business accounts, say, oh, great, cool, here open up a trust. I don't care. You know, right. it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. You just want the bank account. You follow me? Right. Uh, Jack, registering the trust is the only way to get high credit limits. For a trust. Yes. For a yeah. trust. For a trust. For a trust. Yes. You you know, these methods also work to build up uh, like an LLC to uh, build credit for it. If you're just going to destroy the credit, then, you know, you can use an LLC too. So, uh, you don't have to register it. So that's one way to do it as well. Uh, no problem, Jay, no problem. But yeah, you have to register a trace, uh, uh, trust to get credit, really, past the net 30 account. They won't do it because they'll look you up or your address and, and see a lender has no recourse if you're not registered. So, of course, they're going to make sure you're registered. Yes. Uh, and we're already here a couple minutes over, and I know okay. that uh, I got distracted. I was so excited with all these questions and stuff. I gotta, I gotta yeah, get jump. Tim's gotta, gotta jump. Be. I've been trying to like, uh, but I know you have somewhere to be. So we're gonna jump out of here, everyone. Okay, big sale, April fifteenth. Seriously, with all the new courses, you've got to do this. Completely, radically change your life. Please get in it. Okay, we'll be here Monday at noon. Of course, every week, uh, Thursday at seven. Thank you very much, Tim. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Yeah.